Hello everybody, I'm Thomas from Fiedler Audio and this video is part of a series of mixing tips for getting you started with producing a Dolby Atmos in your favorite DAW. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can stay up to date with the latest news tips and tricks. Today we are looking at beam stacking, which is a really cool trick to let your tracks fill the space in Atmos. This technique is very fast, extremely versatile and especially interesting for mono and stereo sources. Let's dive in. Here we have a session with just the Dolby Atmos composer on the master channel, one audio track containing vocals and the Dolby Atmos beam to send these vocals to the composer. If we play back the session, we will simply hear the vocals without anything fancy. We can of course pan the vocals around in beam, but that's about it. Now if we want these vocals to fill the space around us in a meaningful way, there's a simple technique which we call beam stacking. This technique allows you to multiply the vocals with different effects attached and pan all that to different locations. Let's have a look. The vocals are mono and panned to the center. I've spent a lifetime wondering about you mm, And I'm getting higher I would like the vocals to fill the space around me and that not only with some reverb on them. So let's put a chorus after the beam and then another beam after the chorus plugin. Let's name the second beam to distinguish it from the first one in the composer, pan the incoming audio to the side channels and listen again. I've spent a lifetime wondering about you mm, and I'm getting higher. Now that is a different thing. The dry vocals are coming from the front and the chorus version is coming from the side. That is a lot of filling and we can adjust the volume of the chorus signal in beam. I've spent a lifetime wondering about you mm, and I'm getting higher. Let's say we also want to have something going on in the back and put a delay after the second beam and a third beam after the delay. Let's name the beam also, pan the delay output to the rear channels and adjust the delay. I've spent a lifetime wondering about you mm, And I'm getting higher Just thinking of us too And if you're really out there, it's really you Now the space around us is nicely filled. Let's play back the vocals again, starting with all beams muted except the first one and then unmute the others step by step. I've spent a lifetime wondering about you mm, And I'm getting higher Just thinking of us too And if you're really out there, it's really you Then what's the road that leads me to? If you're really out there, it's really you if you want to change the volume of the vocals while maintaining the mix of those beams, you can do so by simply changing the volume of the first beam. Since the plugin output of the beam is set to beam volume, the changes of the volume slider also affect the volume of the audio fed into the chorus after the first beam. Let's listen. I've spent a lifetime wondering about you Mm, and I'm getting higher. It is also recommended to change the plugin output of all other beams except the first one to pass through. That way you can mix each of the beams without affecting the others. For example, if I want to reduce the chorus part without affecting the delay, I can now change the volume of the second beam, but since the plugin output is set to pass through, the volume reaching the delay is not affected by the volume changes here. I've spent a lifetime wondering about you mm, And I'm getting higher Thinking of us too, and if you're really out there, it's really you. Then what's the road that you can use this technique with practically any effect plugin from EQ and dynamics, modulation effects, delay and reverb to distortions, pitch shifters, auto filters, and whatnot. There are no limits to your creative freedom and there's currently no other Dolby Atmos toolset where you can do something like that so easily.
Let us know what you think about this mix tip in the comments below. Also, please let us know if you have any specific question about mixing in Atmos which you would like to see a good explanation video about. And that's it for this video. We hope it's been helpful. Please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of any updates. Thanks for watching and happy mixing.